So I'm Greg Master, um, Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And uh, just welcome to a Friday. We talk about practical and tactical ideas and Agile and Scrum. I just found this emoji while I was cleaning up the house. Cleaning the house is one of those things you have to do all the time, right? So it's like house cleaning. We're going to talk about house cleaning a little bit. Um, cleaning out the backlog. So, yeah, just cleaning stuff out. If I saw this the other day, oh, it's a little emoji. You know, they got the thing. Um, so as an Agile coach, you know, sometimes we have to, and, and a Scrum Master especially, uh, just work with the product owners. If you have a BA, work with the BA. And just go through the backlog and find old stuff and just clear it out of your computer system. It doesn't take long. You look at stuff, maybe take a half hour until you get up to date. I know a lot of companies that I come on board with when I first get there, and, and this is every place I've ever been to. People ask me, really, you have a backlog of that? Old? And yeah, every place I go to has some really old backlog stuff. You know, and it's really good to go in there and just clear that stuff out. Get it out of the way. It's clutter that impedes and overwhelms the product owner to get where they need to go. And actually, I really believe that if you spend a half hour with your product owners and go through the old backlog, get stuff, the stuff that's been there for a year, right, or two, so I've seen older, and just go through it, close it out, get it out of the system, and it'll make your life a lot easier as, a, as, a, as, a, as an Agile coach or a Scrum Master. Um, from an Agile coach or enterprise perspective, getting rid of all that dead data helps clean up the coding you need to deliver, deliver metrics and reporting, right? You don't get these odd things and make exceptions and all that. So it's just a good habit to do. I mean, any organization should be going through their backlog and find out. You never know. You might find something good or otherwise it's like, hey, that was old. We don't really need to worry about that. But just spending a half hour will make them perk up too because they feel like they got something accomplished. All they're doing is getting rid of old stuff. And I and I, I guarantee you, your product owners will be feel much happier that they got rid. It's been a half hour. You just go line by line, quickly go and kind of through it. You don't spend a lot of time analyzing it and say, "Hey, does this have value?" You know, and you use the brain, right? It doesn't have to be a mathematical formula. Just say, "Is this any good? Do we close it out? Is there a way to find out?" And you can do a quick little search and see if you closed out those things and just pull them off things. So that's what I was just want to give you. Just spend a half hour on a Friday or something. Today is Friday. Um, and start cleaning out the backlog with your product owners. This is a recommendation. And from a Scrum Master, part of your job, not only working with the team, but also with the product owner. And sometimes you need to help them focus and give them a win. And that win might be just cleaning out that backlog so they feel better. Anyway, go with that. Hey, welcome to 5 a.m. Scrum. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Friday, everyone. I have no idea if the thumbnail was working because it told me I had trouble with the thumbnail. So I don't know what's going to come out. I got We got a fast show because I got to drive down to D.C., which is two hours away, to go teach uh, or participate in the ACC class today. 